This is your WCIA3 forecast first. Sponsored by Matex Heating, Cooling, Plumbing, and Electrical. It's been another rather nice day across Central Illinois. Very warm. We hit 80 degrees once again. Look at that. 79 right now in Champaign. Still 77 in Effingham. But take a look out to the west. Look at this. You see the green color? The cooler air? That's because it is raining out there. Look at this. Line of storms crossing over the Mississippi as we speak. Right over near the uh, Quincy area. And that is going to continue to push in here. Even south of the St. Louis area. Severe thunderstorm warning associated with that line of storms. So that is going to be impacting us as we work our way into later tonight. Night. When we come back, we'll be talking about those shower and storm chances, let you know if anything could become severe, and we'll tell you about the cooler temperatures that are in the forecast. It's coming up. WCI3 News starts right now. Now from WCIA3 News. Another election is in the books, or is it? Where problems continue when it comes to counting votes. And also tonight, bullets go through a house hitting a two-year-old. We have more on the gunfight that happened outside of it. Plus, fire destroyed a downtown block yesterday. Why cleanup was already put on hold. You're watching your local news leader. This is WCIA 3 News at 6. I don't know how many different ways to say this, Jen. I've said who I spoke with and who I'm at, uh, comfortable sharing with you at this time, who I've spoken with. The Champaign County Clerk says everything's fine while refusing to answer some of our questions. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Roscoe. Paul is off tonight. Our questions came after the clerk's website went down on election night. It left voters and candidates on edge as they sorted the issues out. It is now back up and running with unofficial results. WCI 3s Jen Last talked to Erin Ammons today. She's live now. So what did he tell you? Jennifer, I asked him about the investigation into what happened. He reassured me that things are fine now. But when I asked for specifics, he asked me to move on. The website is back up. The results are up. I don't think there was anything uh, nefarious that happened at this particular time. I think that is the, I mean, I think that's enough at this point. Well, if it's nothing nefarious and things are fine, then shouldn't we know that in who the organization is that you've spoken with? So, You're an elected official, Aaron. That's why I'm, right. I'm asking. And as an elected official, I have taken the time out to come and sit with you. But when I kept trying to find out who that other entity was, here's what he said. I'm not going to feed into some fervor that there could be something cybersecurity happening in Champaign County just for a story. I don't think that's what happened, so I'm not going any further with that. But Aaron, you were the one that brought up cybersecurity. Because cybersecurity is the language that people use when there's a concern. Whatever it was that happened, it left candidates like Mayor Chuck Smith up for re-election in Rantoul anxious about their races. It was aggravating at some point in time, but it was also uh, just requires a lot of patience like a lot of things do in life. Matt Sillard is anticipating a loss in his race for Champaign City Council. He, too, is trying to take it in stride. I think everything has been done as appropriately as it should be, and people are always going to second-guess it, uh, typically the people who don't win their elections. And as a person who's not winning his election, I'm not questioning it. We're still waiting for some of the mail-in ballots and the write-in candidates for those votes to be counted. And the official election results shouldn't be expected for another couple of weeks. And Aaron Ammons told me that this process, this part of it, has been going smoothly. Live in Urbana, Jen Lask, WCIA3, your local news leader. Thank you, Jen. Now, if you are looking for results from last night's election or more of Jen's conversation with Aaron Ammons, we've got it. Just go to our website, WCIA.com. We are learning more about what happened outside the house involved in a shooting last night. There was an exchange of gunfire on the front lawn. It happened at Oregon in Scottswood in Urbana. WCI3's Bryce Beeman is live in our newsroom. Bryce, you talked to the Champaign County Sheriff's Department. What updates do you have for us? 
The Champaign, Champaign County Sheriff's Office says there were four people in the house, two adults and two children. The lieutenant told me there were also people in the front yard when this happened. Shots were fired at the house and the people in the front yard shot back. A two year old was inside the home and was hit in the exchange. They didn't want to wait for an ambulance, so a deputy sped off with the child to the hospital. He's expected to be OK. Police say they are actively investigating leads. Our biggest fear of law enforcement is having a child victim of, from a gunshot wound. Police are asking people to contact them if anyone has any information. This house was involved in a shooting in December 2019. No one was hurt during the shooting. Police say these could be related. We will have the Sheriff's Department's contact information on our website. In the newsroom, I'm Bryce Beeman, WCIA3, your local news leader. Bryce, thank you. Sangamon County Crime Stoppers looking for help with an investigation. Someone is shooting people, cars, and houses with a paintball gun. It started happening at the end of last month in Springfield. They say the suspects have been shooting guns out of moving cars. Several people have been hurt or had their property damaged. This is a follow-up. Pawnee is assessing the damage after a fire knocked out a quarter of their village square. The fire burned for six hours and the village used so much water trying to get this under control. They are now under a boil order out there. WCI3's Cole Henke has more. The fire is out, but the rubble remains. A stretch of five buildings burned to the ground Tuesday in Pawnee, and now the community is trying to recover. It's unreal. I mean, growing up here, I mean, everybody's got memories of, you know, all of these buildings because of all the different businesses that have been in and out of here over the years. So it's just heart wrenching. Cleanup hasn't started yet on the stretch of buildings on the village square. Officials are worried that moving the rubble enough could lead to the fire reigniting. The near six hour fight for firefighters drained village resources and it's left the entire village on a boil order. Was with all the fire trucks, we had 19 units here yesterday from different communities and they, the water tower eventually went dry. And once you start sucking off of the main, it's got to clean itself for three or four days. It wasn't just water that departments needed either. People were bringing firefighters food and water while they fought and there were even trucks bringing fuel in order to keep the trucks running. The Salvation Army showed up as well to help the firefighters in the long battle. Well, I think they're very grateful. Um, they've been great to us, and um, we're always um, happy to help them as much as we can. And uh, we can tell they're starting to get tired and getting fatigued, but they're still working real hard. Reporting in Pawnee, I'm Cole Hankey, WCIA3, your local news leader. No one was hurt during the fire. Fire crews were on the scene for more than seven hours. Assessors were checking the damage today before they cleared the way for a cleanup. There are almost 1,300 new cases of COVID statewide. There are also 28 new deaths. The seven-day positivity rate is now at 4.6%. More than 139,000 people were vaccinated yesterday. The seven-day rolling average is now 107,000 plus. More than 6.5 million people have been vaccinated in Illinois. COVID restrictions are starting to ease up. By that has some toasting a beer today. Also tonight. I think we need to look at this moment with Alana to know that our community can change. U.S. history was made in last night's election. What distinction the newest school board member indicator brings with her. And we are waiting for the drops to start to fall. Yeah, uh, raindrops and drops thermometer as well oh i don't i don't which, want which to wait for that one yeah well <laughs> it's coming no matter no matter what because we got a cold front heading our way and the last little bit of some sunshine that is our camera there in gibson city on the corner of america weather i at gibson area hospital camera 80 again today pretty nice the cooler temperatures are on the way we'll talk about that in the forecast when we come back